Yo dudes! So, welcome back. Budget Daily Series Part 2. Apparently you guys were interested in the last one, so that's good. We've got a bunch of stuff to sort this video. This one is mainly going to be fixing all the issues. So we've got the left hand turn issue. Oh my god! Oh my god. We've got the door handle that doesn't work. The windows that don't work. And things that just basically make it very inconvenient to drive. So we're going to sort them out. I've got service to do as well. Um, and just, we're going to get everything fixed. So. This episode we're fixing it, next episode we're going to make it look cool. So the car is booked in with Dan at the Motorworks, um, or MWG, he's now changed his name, abbreviated it, shortened it. So we're going to go down there, uh, I've got the car booked in on the ramp, and we're going to have a look at the uh, the wobble issue, as we're calling it. So we're going to go do that, he's going to give it a little once over, check everything, um, and yeah, we'll go from there. Right, we are up on the ramp. Hello Daniel. Hello, alright. We're just going to have a quick look over this. and. Yeah. Make sure he's alright really, isn't it? Just give yeah. it once over. That not look too bad for a 180k car though. Yeah, they're normally right on Caesar. Make sure you haven't got any bulges in the brake lines or anything. The only things that are common, really, are those. But that's not too bad. There's really not much to these. Like I said, the front, the lower arm rear bushes, we do loads of those. Yeah. Apart from that, they're fine. We think we found the, uh, the left hand wobble turn issue, haven't we? Yeah. Ready? Yep. <laughs> so that play there. <laughs> yeah, pretty savage. Just so, that, isn't it? Yeah. That arm. And will that come with that bush as well? Yeah, it comes with both bushes. You don't have to do any track or anything on that because it hasn't got any of the uh, centric bolts. Concentric bolts, rather. Probably the uh, best outcome out of all the arms. When you're driving, it's literally like someone's steering the rear wheels. Like... I can imagine. You basically have got an extra steering on the back. <laughs> it's like Hikers, isn't it, on the Japster? Yeah, I was literally thinking, I was like, it feels like four wheel steering and <laughs> yeah. someone's just doing it. You've just got no control. Oh my god, yeah. That's loads. It's pretty, it's pretty bad. <laughs> I bet it's looking a fat, does it, on there? Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 then, oh, my God. Jesus. Yeah. There you go. Straightforward for once. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't say that yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. New part. He's a big boy, isn't he? Yeah, man. Vibrates and all. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Shout out to Dan. That was very speedy service. If you ever need your car looking after and you're in Gloucestershire, just drop him a message. This is him down below. Uh, this traffic is really bad. I've hit a few left-hand turns, like little ones, and it seems to have fixed the issue. So... Fingers crossed, I'm gonna go hunt for another left hand turn now and we'll do it on camera. Legend, cheers. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think it's fixed it, which I will be super stoked about because that was a very cheap and easy and quick fix. Yeah, the left hand. Yeah, no wobble. No wobble at all. <laughs> Mint, car can turn left again. So that's that sorted. Let's go back to the unit and fix this door handle and whole door situation. So yeah, see you at the unit. All right, so this is the current situation. <laughs> I have no door, skin, door handle, nothing. So the door's all completely apart. I strip everything, the window's out, that is there. And what I needed was this. So I've just picked this up. This is a brand spanker. Basically what had happened is that metal bit in there was just snapped in half. So that's the old one. So, uh, yeah, this is 40 quid. Oh, I just got a new one of them. So I've got that. My windows weren't going up, so I got a new motor and the switches weren't working, so I have a new uh, switch. So hopefully the motor, the switch and the mech will fix all of my problems. We've also got uh, the new wheels, a um, bunch of servicing stuff down here. Got oil, got oils, I got glow plugs just because these probably have never been changed. And I'm gonna go pick up a rear bumper for this. So 
yeah, this episode is going to be good. We're going to get everything sorted. I can't drive at the moment because it has no central locking. It has no window. It has nothing. So let's get this sorted because it is very, 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 very annoying. next gotta put the door back together inside which ain't gonna be fun so let's do that Done. Doors back together. Handle works. That does the window up and down. There's that one. That one. And that one. Sick. That's pretty much every problem sorted with the car. Stoked. All sorted. Doors fixed. I can use my car again. All right. So, giveaway, before I forget. This is the winner from last week. You win that bold tea. This video, I have some air fresheners. So we got the white BQR, that smells like mint. We got the black one, that smells like black ice. Then we got this camo one, that smells like vanilla. My favorite one, the Vossi one, which is strawberry. So you can get these on the website, you can buy the mix pack, which you get all four, but I'm gonna give away two of these. All you gotta do, leave a comment down below. Comment stuff, I don't know. Leave me any comment down below. Uh, comment what products you want to see. Comment if you think we should make something in particular. I will see if I can make it. Comment some video ideas for the Passat, because once I've got past video four, I'm pretty much done. So if you've got any more ideas for videos for the Passat, then let me know anything. Down below, you win some air fresheners. Also, because I'm feeling nice, uh, I'm gonna do this. If you spend more than 25 pounds in the next two days and enter this code, I'll give you a mix pack of air fresheners for free. So you can buy anything in this warehouse. We've got hats, we've got hoodies, we've got joggers, we've got shorts, we've got t-shirts, we've got beanies, wallets, loads of stuff. Spend 25 quid or more, enter this code, and I will send you a free full pack for four air fresheners. And your car will no longer smell like shit. It'll smell like boys' locker rooms and cat piss. I'm joking, that one's strawberry. So there you go, giveaway. Enter a comment down below, you'll win one of them, or if you just want to spend 25 quid on the website, then you get a free mix pack. And that's that. So, back to the Passat, let's sort some shit. Shaggy. Right, Shag. We're back. Back again. This time, ooh, look at that, I've got a new rear bumper. We're gonna put that on in a sec, get rid of that shit. Yep. But, my stereo doesn't have Bluetooth, so, I got one of these. AliExpress. $160 and then 20 quid import fee. I think I paid like 140 plus 20 imports. This is 160 quid. Oh, look at that. Oh baby. Oh, it looks exactly the same as the uh, one that's in there. Yep. But, this one has uh, Bluetooth and CarPlay, Android Auto. Actually, looks pretty fucking legit. Main China. <laughs> Bad time for that, isn't it? Genuine product. Product's warranty guaranteed. Your purchase is secured, by the way. Secured by what? The Chinese government. Probably Thanks, China. Full of self tappers. It should just be a straight swap. Yeah. So this is... Uh, no, oh, there it is. RCD360 Pro. I'll put a link in the description if you want it. Basically, these fit every VW. Oh, that's a big shout. Big claim. Don't care. <sighs> so I'm drinking that off. <laughs> I wanted to pull that straight off. Yeah, do it. Oh my god. Four screws. Four screws. Fuck me, daddy. We're on the, uh, the old stubbies. Little stubbies. Stubby on. Mad, I ordered this from China and it arrived in three days. Scary, innit? 
just shipping Corona over here daily. You got the manual for the torques back on these. <laughs> Actually, get the Dugger Dugger gun out. Oh, it's 180, I heard. Well, it's 310. <laughs> It'd be in the fucking engine bay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your radio gun now? I could be Dugger Dick straight through the bonnet. <laughs> Open the bonnet every time you change the song. <laughs> He's on one. Button controls work. <gasps> right, search for devices. Oh. We're connected. Oh baby, that was fucking easy. Don't you have to get the license if you play that music and that. <laughs> it works. Dangerous. <laughs> Five minutes, if that. Ignore that cable mess. Another cable. Oh baby. Why are you doing that? Because that's what you need for Android Auto. What, you have to plug it in? Yeah, and CarPlay. Plug it in. Connecting. I've now got SatNav. Home. Cheers. She's so mad. So this is the estate. That's massive, that gap there. And it's tiny on there. That's a saloon. If anyone wants to buy a B6 saloon bumper off me, come get it. <sighs> right, let's refit this and go home. All right, she's back on, that was easy. I'm a fucking idiot though, because <laughs> if I just looked, there's a number plate on that bumper. <laughs> there's no number plate on that one. Twat, I should have looked, but it did say on the ad, estate rear bumper. That is a saloon bumper. Anyway, I'll find another one somewhere. All right, so it is the next day. I've already found another bumper. I was scanning eBay and Facebook Marketplace for like an hour. Uh, I'm very impatient. I hate letting things beat me. The bumper is still on the car, so I've got to take it off myself outside in the rain, which isn't fun. I bought a coat. We're gonna see how that goes. It's got a tiny little bit of damage, but nothing compared to what mine is, so I don't really care. I just kind of want to sort it out. And yeah, let's get a bumper. Oh. <laughs> bumper then. And I got a little ashtray thing, so mind another one. Drive. Oh, lush, straight in. Amazing. Right, back to the unit. Let's go fit this bumper. Right, <laughs> take two. Way better. It's not perfect. It's got a little thing there. I don't know what the fuck that is, like a burn. But it's better than the other one, and it was just down the road, and it was only 60 quid, so definitely makes the rear end look better from at least five foot away, so yeah. Next thing, this. You can piss off Jeff White, I don't know who you are, but freshies, they're gonna go on. Also, I got a rear wiper, because as you can see, this is like scratching, I don't know if it's scratching the tint or the glass. That has literally no wiper left. So that's going off.
Bang in. Easy. Easy jobs. Taking them off. Clean, simple, stylish, elegant. Hammer. This is full on seized. And I'm impatient. As you can tell. That's the car sorted then. The only thing that's different is these have black strips and they're chrome. I could always just take the chrome out of my old bumper. What do you think? Shall I black these ones out or chrome those ones out? Comment down below, let me know, because I actually can't tell. That rear end is looking 10 times better. Also, if anyone knows if I can polish this out or any way to get rid of those scratches, drop us a comment if you know what to do with that, because that's really, really annoying. There she is though. The piss rat Mark II, looking pretty sick. All right, boys. How are we doing, that? We're uh, giving her a makeover. Fresh service. Remapped, danger map. One pull map. Where they just map it for one dirty, great big pull, and then it dies. <laughs> All or nothing. All or nothing. 700 breaker. <laughs> oh, my God. That's gonna come like, Imagine. Right, I'll just let that drain for a while. <laughs> Bunky. Do you know what I love about diesels? The fuel filter. Why? Right there. Oh yeah, isn't it? I wake up in the middle of the night thinking about 36 fuel fillers. <laughs> Shouldn't have one. I'm gonna get rid of mine. No ring, only one. Yeah, they got the little one on there. Ah, brother. Right, I need that sump put back in. Where's my torch? Woo. So that's how you do, uh, install a oil filter on a V6 sap. V6. I'm legit. You ain't legit though, are you? I am fucking legit. You ain't legit though, are you? Mate, do you have an under tray? Under tray is a fat pussy. You don't get spiritually enlightened by an under tray. I do. Yeah, because I ain't got one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> That's your diesel. Diesel filler. The thrashing. Aw, oh, don't waste my fuel for you. Oh, I hate fucking spare diesel. It's disgusting. <laughs> Ugh. Is that the old one? Obviously. Oh, yeah. That's right. All done, Ian? Yeah, I just fucking nice spit a random foam. Oh, yeah, lovely. Then you get to bend that fuel felt. Yeah. It's the flick of the red stars. Triple QX. The cheapest one. Best way. <laughs> Old fucking men in black, boy. What <laughs> <One> okay? <laughs> <laughs> Drink around. Thirsty. Nice. What are you replacing here, Bob? Glow plugs. They're giving me shit for replacing glow plugs. Does it was like 20 quid, and I just bought it. Smoke with a glow plug? Ah, what? Like a, a, what, a, what do you call it? What are those things? Shigar and a waffle. Nah, uh, you know those fucking things, you sit rank. A uh, batty whistle. She, she just, oh. just... That's old mate, I'll think it. I found the uh, glow plugs, I've got to do the steering rack and all that. Oh, you're doing the glow plugs then, you can. I want it to run right. It does run it right. Does it, it starts, doesn't it? It means glow plugs are alright. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then they might fail on me in fucking three miles because they've probably done 180,000 miles. There's a reason why. It, hey, what have we always said? What? There's a reason why it's done 180k. Because the glow plugs are good. Yeah, they love the glow plugs. <laughs> Stick it in their booty hole. A bit more lift now. Oh. Uh, uh, ah, gas now. Go. Work smart, not hard. Do it. Oh, that, that looks right spunky, that one. It's a spunky clip. Well, well you don't dug a dugger in it either. <laughs> Start it spinning here, go. That's kind of it. Give me that light set. I can't actually see the hole. Spunky nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had two pints in a pack of spunky nuts. <laughs>
<laughs> Two points of Stella, I'll twat you in a bag of spunky <laughs> When are we doing an uh, update on this then, Stu? Oh, worry, worry. When are we doing an update on this? No. Next couple of vids? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, don't go through the table. Of course I'm going to go straight through the table. <laughs> oh. Why'd you do that? That's his dinner table at home yeah, as well. Why'd you do that? Meant for it. <laughs> Fine, I'll go off the side. 4D gel plate, this is. I hope it fucking ends. Mate, I, you'd, I'd actually give you permission to fucking smack me on the head if I got one of them. Lush. Fresh. To there. Decent. There you go. Dream. All right, sick. Video done. Uh, next episode, we are doing the coilovers and the wheels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and you'll be entered to win the air fresheners or all you gotta do is spend 25 quid on the website and you will get that for free. All you gotta do is enter that code. That's for two days only. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Goodbye.